Fishing in Angola in the winter months can be a bit daunting. You know, you, all your smaller species disappear and you don't really have the numbers of fish, but what you do have left behind is the bigger species. One of the species that I've been most interested in is the Corvina. Now the Corvina, who's closely related to our cob in South Africa, is an absolutely beautiful fish. It looks like a cob, but it's got these beautiful markings from the fins all the way across the profile of the fish. With that, serious teeth in front, and it's absolutely an eating machine. When it comes to choosing tackle for this type of fishing, um, we had rumors of some serious fish in the system, you know, so 16, 20, 25 kilos. And you've got to pick the right gear for the job. Um, I went with the Penn Slammer 6500, loaded with 50 pound whiplash. And I was fortunate enough to get the brand new Berkeley Venom Cotton Mouth. It's a popping stick baiting rod that is diverse enough that you can use it for bait, ballooning, all different types of facets. So it's a fantastic bait from Berkeley. I was so, so chuffed to have it on this trip. Absolutely smashed that Sibiola. <laughs> You know, with this braided line, even though it was so far out, I actually feel that fish come and consume it. It's like, rock! Yeah! Yeah! Yo! Serious head nods on it. Berkeley have just designed this new Venom cotton mouth. And uh, it's one of those rods that we took some time to get it right because you want one rod for everything. Stick baiting, popping, taking lures out of rivers and all sorts of funny things. Yes, please! We travel all the way to Angola to catch a Corvina. We got him. This is a, an absolutely amazing fish. Look at the colors on it. On the top of its head, it's got this bump just by the, by the fins, and it's purpley blue color. Funny stripes all over its body that carry on right through into the fins. It's an absolutely spectacular fish. Look at the big this tail is. <laughs> come on. I wonder why it took off at such a speed. Just a little bit of something under the surface. Through a couple of wines and <laughs> And the uh, fish took about 20 or 30 meters of line. Quite aggro, I think it might be one of those jacks. I really do hope so. Oh, fish just never give up. It's a proper jack. Well guys, you have to excuse me, I look like a bit of a drowned rat, but I've been chasing some kingfish and some corvina in the, in the back of the Rio Longo river mouth. And um, yeah, it brings us to the end of our Angolan trip and what a special trip it's been. But what has really made it super special, is fortunately enough, I got my hands on one of these new Berkeley Venom cotton masks. Uh, it's been long time in development and long time waiting for this rod. And it literally is, for a traveling lure angler, the rod to have. I mean, a 10-foot rod that you can throw all types of lures with, uh, from spoons to plugs to poppers and stick baits. This really is the rod that uh, I honestly will take anywhere. It has the same technology as the Berkeley Air. Light rods that you could use all day, sensitive in the tip, you can use different types of lures, but when you hook that fish, you've got that backbone that you can really pull hard. And this cotton mouth basically
catches fish. <laughs> that's that's all that it boils down to. Yeah, look out for this one. Uh, it really is going to be a good run.